Uh, and uh, whoever's uh, rolling, if you can mute yourself while I'm talking, please. Thank you. All right. Okay. I, I, I am I am so easy to distract, it is not even funny. <laughs> and mute. Thank you. Trying to decide what dice I was going to use, and... Yeah. Figured it out. <laughs> okay. So, uh... Oh, that's right. He didn't come and rescue you from the material... The, the mater Sorry, from the ethereal plane. You guys managed to rescue them yourselves from the ethereal plane, which is a good job. And discovered that you had attracted the attention of a powerful individual in the area. Uh, by the name of Aki. Aki Nightstorm. Uh, he decided to take you all over to where he had um, basically come to, to, well, where his son had died. Uh which happened to be where the Wante were living. And you discovered many bodies of Wante spread throughout. Uh, you managed to gather up some treasure because he didn't seem in at all interested in taking any of it. Uh, he then handed over uh, puzzle cubes, which the Wante had been procuring for themselves. Uh, and sent you on your merry way. I forget, did you guys take a long rest in there? Uh, we did. Yes, we took we yes. took shifts. Uh, we took shifts on guard because we heard things in the water. Yes. Okay. I was just double checking because I realized I did not write down a day for last time, which means instead of being fe feasting th forty two for session forty two, which have been fun, it's feasting forty three because <laughs> it's the next day. And you guys set off across the uh, the across the plaza. Ended up on the other side of the river and are now making your way in the direction where you think the uh, the entrance to the uh, to the tomb might be. All you know is it's somewhere to the north. You're not absolutely certain where though, or how to get, or how exactly to get there. So, what would you guys like to do? So we're all across the river now, right? Correct. Yep. I guess just continue our way on to Esmonger Temple. Alright, who's Sounds in control good. of your token? Uh, it looks like Torin. Tor <coughs> Torin, the elected leader. I don't know why you guys trust me with responsibilities. You're the most dad-like of the group, so... Do you want the to give it to run? Am. No. Do you want to give it to run? No. You sure? Do. Are you positive? Okay. Run is the group baby. <laughs> I would be like giving it to my six-year-old nephew. Exactly. I'm almost uh, almost I, the I'm, same I'm age. joking, Run. I'm joking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So, which way we want to take? Because we got to get where up to here, maybe. Hey, I don't know if that ping worked or not. I think yeah, up to here in the Boom. amphitheater. Well, we want to follow that. Yes. I'll say probably walk through these buildings a little bit, like through here, and then up the stairs. <laughs> And then just follow that path. So, where are we going? Oh. We're up here where that purple ring just showed up. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Alright, well. Make our way there. Let's go out see the buildings. I can move fast enough before she tells us to stop. <laughs> There's. And away we go. Yeah, we'll stop at these stairs. If I remember correctly, we have us without a trace on us. You have to reroll your stealth then. Yeah. Fuck. 
<laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt. Are we all rerolling stealth? Yes, uh, you all have to reroll stealth. It's a new session. And you've moved far away from where you originally were stealthing. So, new stealth checks. Mm. Oh, damn! <laughs> journal? No. Where was that? Shit. <laughs> you guys are doing horribly. <laughs> Run did good. Uh, yeah, well, but it's a... Run's gonna do good. Yeah, but it's a, <laughs> it's a group average check. Um, where... Where do I go again to pull up the dice? Uh, you go to your sheet uh, under the journal thing. You look at oh, your sheet, journal. and then you go scroll, scroll down to you see stealth, and you just click on it on your character sheet. Yeah, yeah, it's that little thing that looks like a newspaper. Oh, there it is, Michael Deacon character sheet. There we go. Which the news? They're plus 10 because of the pass without a trace, so there's that. Mm -hmm. I hope I have 16, stealth. 14, 17. Yeah, even if it's that, it's like, you know, it's just a dexterity modifier. Hmm, I may not have any stealth ability. Where is my stealth? Um, it's going to be. Shit, yeah, I don't remember what it looks like on. Regular character sheet. If you're looking Don't for your where you see the big list of stuff, and you'll yeah, see the one like that looks skills, acrobatics, and you, you have a plus, and, and you, you have a plus one to your stealth because you're a dexterity modifier. Okay, well, so since you roll a d20, then add a one. I just have to find stealth. Oh, there it is. Found it. Hey. There we go. So 20, alright. Nice. Well, I helped a little bit. <laughs> I hope. You think you're he being quiet? Than, he helped more than me and Erdon. <laughs> the, but of course, you can't see, you can't figure out where the hell Run went. He could be anywhere. Nah, that's that no quiet surprise. and that's splendid. Pretty quiet. Where'd you guys like to go? We're gonna stop mm -hmm. right about here. We're not gonna go too far in there. And you know what? Let's get out of the sight of that building. Is is that the amplifier? We haven't leveled up yet, right? Uh, nope. We are still at level 8. I was kind of hoping we would stay a level higher. Since I've been missing. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess we'll do some sightseeing. Let's see what we can see around us. Uh, Run will do an investigation around here. Fuck. <laughs> well, I don't see shit besides buildings and plants. Can I also roll a perception? Alright. So, you're looking towards the amphitheater. A ruined yes. amphitheater looms over the surrounding buildings. Vines cling to its steps and animal statues line its stands. The muddy ground outside is stripped clean of vegetation. An eerie silence hangs over the area. No birds cry. No insects chirp. Nothing stirs. Can I do an, a uh, history check to see if anything is familiar? Now, are you guys going into the amphitheater or are you staying outside of it? I'm, we're just seeing outside right now. What okay. can, what's around. Um, uh, give me a survival check, and uh, you can roll a history check. Okay, I rolled a survival check off. first. Yay, 15. Sorry, I was distracted. What did I miss on that last bit? In history. Is 
So, did mm -hmm. I recognize anything, or...? Doesn't look all that familiar. The, other than, like, you know, recognizing that this is an amphitheater. Uh, most likely performances uh, were, were put here, given the pictures of, an the, you know, the statues of animals, maybe animal fights. Hard to tell. Ah. Uh. The way the, the atmosphere here is, it kind of feels like there was a sad song last sang here. Okay, side note. Has anyone else played Mass Effect other than me? Of course me. I've played it so many times. Alright. Did you not get any strong rack knife vibes from that statement? Well, there's no rack knife here or anything like it, so... <laughs> I'm just saying from his statement that he made. I don't know why, but the way I... he said it, just rack knife popped in my head. So, uh... Yeah, the song my... bit, yeah. The yellow note uh... souring the mothers. Go ahead, sorry. Oh, yeah, run! Okay. Yeah, uh, investigation. That's why I just I described the building and asked you if you were inside or outside. You know, inside the grounds or outside the grounds, and you specified outside. So that's all the information you got from from investigation. Okay. So I I will come. Uh, I'm of course you know them not knowing where I'm at. I'll come back and relay all that information to them. Uh, uh, if you like, I could uh, go ahead and go first. Uh, might be easier with, you know, with what I do. I could stealth in and uh, see what's going on. A plan. It depends. Does your stealthing require on spells? Require what? Or spells? Oh, I, I, no. Or you can go first run, but if anything happens. Don't just run straight into it without letting us know. Just said I'm a walking light show right now, so I'll walk in there. I ain't doing any of us justice. Ah, okay. Ah, then I'll be back. You're a clean, clean, oh. shiny mess right now. <laughs> I don't even know if I even clean, clang right now since it's not my body. I'm just All lightning. Right. Yeah, you're just so, lightning. I I am going to guess to roll stealth and investigation on the way in. Sure. Okay, first we will do stealth and investigation. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Nice. <laughs> Give me a second. I just need to to do this real quick. Okay, I guess that will work for that. All right. <sighs> One second, please, Ren. You're good.
Alrighty. This looks spooky. I don't like this map already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so run. You're pretty stealthy. I'm pretty sure nothing will notice you. Uh, investigation. Uh, you start entering in slowly into the amphitheater, and it's it's just eerily quiet. You still can't hear anything. And you start tiptoeing between various mounds of trash. Okay, so with a 10, I'm going to assume that I'm paying more attention to where I step than I am my surroundings. Because I'm focusing on being stealthy. Correct. <laughs> so. Oh, continue to towards this. I guess these are stairs. Uh, those are the st uh, those are the stairs and the, uh, the basically the benches in the amphitheater. Okay. Um. So. Uh. uh Roll another investigation, or because I want to keep. Once you actually make it to to the stairs, you you can uh, roll another investigation. But at the moment, you're still just in the middle of the amphitheater. Okay. So I will continue my way across to the stairs. Then. Assuming that nothing has tried to come after me yet. So, another investigation. All right. Uh, as you look down at some of the mud near the <clears throat> at the base of the, the of the steps here you notice that there seems to be some kind of track a um uh, hold on let me you find a few slender feathers uh, scarlet and orange uh and you find these uh clawed footprints in the f in in the the mud tr leading up uh, they look like they have uh, two toes from the look of that, but occasionally there's like a little point here and there. Seeing this, uh, Run will think back to some of the... Um, Uh, feathered lizard creatures that he'd seen, aka dinosaurs. Um, uh, perhaps Run should do a nature check just to be sure of what this thing is. Sure. Oh, thank God. The, the tracks themselves make you think of the velociraptors you've run into, only bigger. Hmm, there is a creature that's a lot like a velociraptor, but a much bigger size. Uh, Denonychus? Denonychus? Hmm. Perhaps one of those. Uh, 
uh, for safety purposes, uh, he will load his hand crossbow with one of his red tip bolts. Um, now, is there like any uh, doors that run C's that he can check into or? Um, yeah, actually, uh, one of the ones near, near the, uh, the mud, uh, as you're looking closer, it isn't simply just a dip in some of the steps being, um, like, you know, broken and caved in. There appears to be, like, an entrance going underground. Okay, Run will go over and, uh... Would this be like where the door is? I would assume. Uh, no, no, in the steps. That's out in the middle of the amphitheater. Oh, in the... Okay. So he will go and first he'll inspect to see if there's any uh, uh, traps. When I say door, I mean it's just like a hole in the wall. There's like nothing, nothing open or anything like that. Uh, also, give me a new stealth check as you're checking into a new air location. Alright. No problem. Alright, uh... Still want to be sure... Still want to be sure if there's any traps or not. Alright. You didn't see All any right, evidence there's... of tracks... of traps. Alright, do I... What... Do I see anything in this doorway? Uh, so you have dark vision, yes? You're a gnome? Yes. Uh, you see what appears to be a tunnel, uh, leading down and around, and the occasional, uh, feathers that seem to have fallen and collected here. All right, uh... What would I need to roll to see how... Recent, this might be. Nature check. Alrighty. Well, it's hard to tell, really. Some of the feathers look like maybe they collected there and just kind of like, you know, fallen into a corner and nothing has moved them. But there is one at least with a shiny shaft. That makes you think it was a something that very recently fell off its uh, original owner. Okay, and how big are these tracks would run compared to? Uh, I I did that mention easy. earlier what 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 he, what the, the size comparison. Yeah, the diconic. Uh, Deinonychus, uh, which is yeah. a medium sized creature, versus a Velociraptor, which is considered smaller, tiny. Okay. Yeah, they they must have micro raptor. Like, velociraptors are are small to medium in real the real life versus the uh, raptors they have in the book, which are micro, which are clearly micro raptors because they're tiny instead of small. <laughs> Utah raptors and Deinonychus are the ones that are medium sized. Regular raptors okay. are small sized in real in real life. But I think there are some things called micro raptors. I'm not a hundred percent on that, but. Clearly, in, in D and D, they're micro raptors. There's okay, also a mini so... T Rex. Mm -hmm. All right. So the mo uh, run does not would not want to go into the uh, tunnel just yet. Where's everyone else while Run's doing this? By the way, we're waiting for Run. He's are going farther than we thought he was going to. Are, are, are you clumped up in a group? Where are you in relationship to, to the amphitheater? Just outside. Yep. I mean, so you're standing around in a group? Yep. Mm hmm. All right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't like the way she said that. I don't like the way she said that. <laughs> Uh, everyone, but run, give me a perception check. 
Yeah. Question. Because yep. my luck here has been bad already in this area. <laughs> if I were to die in this lightning form, does that mean my actual body dies? Roll a religion check. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck. Oof. That doesn't look good. I'm not rolling good. You tonight. have no idea. I, I I know Ren's not there, but just for shits and giggles. Oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> you know. Nice. Are we all rolling perception? <laughs> I didn't hear the perception check. Yeah, like I heard the perception, but I don't know if we're all rolling it or if she just said. I said, someone ev I said everyone who isn't run, roll me more me perception checks. Oh, okay, I didn't catch that part. Oh, okay, I thought she said run, roll me a perception check. I said everyone but run, <laughs> roll me a perception okay. check. Oh, <laughs> it, was that a? Uh, yeah. Was it the lowest roll? roll. Mm. Well, you didn't roll like Dovit, so. <laughs> Alright. Jasper got okay. okay. Jasper. Ooh, Jasper got hot, really high. So, Jasper. You feel a strange vibration in the ground underneath of you. Jurassic Park, here we go. <laughs> Does it feel like it's uh, underneath us, or like it's just no, the ground shaking? No, it's just the, the ground shaking. Uh. Dovit is completely oblivious. Uh, Michael doesn't really know what's going on either. Torin, something is catching your attention, but you're not entirely sure what because you're levitating. But you just get this feeling from your god that something is coming. I will very promptly and quietly fuck! Inform everyone that something's coming! <laughs> I rolled a nat 20 when I was checking to see when it was going to show up. Oh no! God. Gosh. Alright, roll your. Dovid. Rick rolls. See, you, you, see, you don't need I one guess, to. I can select my token. I rolled a 19. So, we all have to roll initiative? Yeah! Alright. Oh boy, where's my initiative? I don't think... Run, I'm not so sure about you. I have intimidation. Uh, yeah. no, Run's in the same area. Run has to roll initiative. Run. Your initiative is at the top under, um, all of your... your name and all the character info. It's between armor class and speed. Oh. Here's what you do is you Oh, will... right there, got it. Oh my god! <sighs> Oh no! No token Roll selected. It. Yeah, you got. Oh, there's a token. I didn't see my token at first. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Grizz, you may want to switch back to. No, no, no they're, they're there. Map. It's in the very. It's in the very bottom right. Is where oh, I is it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't see um, it first when I rolled. Yeah, sorry, you Yo, guys are all in the oh, Okay, I see. Yeah, that's why I was ask kept asking you, where were you where are you in relationship to run? And you kept saying way right outside, so I had to make the map bigger and put you way right on the edge. <laughs> in a group, because that's what you said you were. <laughs> Where's my token? Um... All all the tokens are at the bottom of right hand corner. Oh, okay. And when we said go in and check things out, we didn't mean go that far. <laughs> Bitch. Okay, where's? They're at my good oh, turn. My token. This is a pattern. Where's my token? I don't see my token. Why do I not see my token? Zoom out, bottom right. I, I see the bottom right, but. Oh, there I am. Okay, now if I roll initiative. There we go. Oh, that was even worse than my f the roll that didn't count. 
Oh yeah, mine was too, because I actually had a good roll. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> they were both low, but the other one was higher. <laughs> Check something real quick. He's ready for a funeral tonight. Ah, that's right. So, seemingly appear, you're, you're hearing the thumbs, and so you're looking around expectantly, and there's a couple of tall buildings around you. But almost like it just suddenly appeared out of nowhere and didn't even seem to walk or run across the land. This is suddenly right there, nearly in front of you. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna look over at Jasper. Why can't you turn into something like that? <laughs> Hit him. Oh, no, lightning. never mind. He's lightning. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> ah! I think that one's a little bit bigger than the ones I've seen. Run. Uh, so for your first action, run. Uh, give me a perception check at this point. Okay. Because you're only across the square, the, the square from them. Let's see if you heard them. Yeah, you just started hearing shouting coming from across the square. You're, you're, you're a little bit far away, so you don't exactly hear what they're yelling at you, but you definitely heard somebody yell, you know, heard your companions yelling. What do okay, you do? Uh, um, first of all, I need to figure out how to do the distance thing so I'd know... What exactly to do? That's just to indicate the, uh, the, the door you're in. Okay. Um, where is the measuring tool at? It's the Let's circle and measuring to... tool. It's underneath the, uh, the zoom in, zoom out thing. Okay. Oh dear God. Okay, so. It goes for this one. That's going to take me a few rounds to yeah, and those dash are, over there. Yeah, and this, don't forget, these are like piles of rubble. Uh, so you've got like this, which you can't really see over. It's too high. And like this, which is like rough terrain. Yeah, I may not be able to see over it, but, uh, it, it, uh, but you know, with my king gnome ears. All right, so, uh, oh, there's one initiative that I did not put in. the look of this. Why is my initiative not... Oh, there it is. It's just not showing up in the turn order. Well, you don't have a... Oh, where's your token? Uh, ah, yeah. Like, dog would be, like, right next to you. Yeah. So, uh... We'll say that with him getting that as his uh, initiative, Run will use his turn to 
Gollum from the Pocket Realm. And the movement will be on uh, uh, Floof's turn as he rides him into battle. <laughs> Alrighty. Oops, nine. Erdan. Um. Would you say it would be like I have to take a like a movement <coughs> to hop on the broom and take off, not leave, but just to try to get up above this thing. Sure. Um, if I recall right, though, you can't uh, fire your bow while on the broom. I thought we built the we, we built the seat. Oh no, I we did. Seat, yeah, I couldn't remember. Sorry. Yeah, just as soon as possible, I'm gonna get on the broom. Uh, how you want to do that? If I lose my attack or. Well, that that would that would be your main action, like you know, getting on the broom, the, you know, to use your broom. I think because that's then, a, yeah, he's just, activating a mat. Yeah. You say, same with because uh, you know, kind of like summoning when it comes to that. I think first things first, he's getting the broom off his back, hopping on it, and taking off to kind of circle this thing AC one thirty style. <laughs> <laughs> And that'll be my turn. <laughs> all right. We're so boned. We're all grouped together. Uh, who's getting hit first? Yeah. Uh, run. Uh huh. You hear a hiss clicking noise coming from the darkness behind you as you're mounting up on your blink dog. A hiss clicking noise? Yep. Something is rushing out of the darkness behind you. Oh, great. A Donaticus comes rushing out and attempts to, to, attempts to pounce on you. Oops. Uh, does an 18 hit you? Uh, I believe it does, unfortunately. Because I rolled an 18 yes. with with 6 damage. Yes, an 18 does hit. Uh, slashes you again, and then it attempts to bite your blink dog. Which All it right. ends up missing. Okay. Meanwhile, the King of Feathers lets out a mighty roar, spying you all there. Hmm, who's uh, it gonna go for first? Let's see. I'm trying to decide what it's going to do first. <laughs> you have five snacks to choose from. Mm hmm. <laughs> I would like to point out that I was nice to the DM earlier, so please not me. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to ex it's going to draw in a huge breath and exhale forcefully. A huge cloud of stinging insects ejects from its mouth. Ooh. Cool, it's getting all of us. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, character number three is already rolled, so. That immediately goes after its turn. <clears throat> uh, so let's see. It is going to disappear from f f from easy sight as the insects uh, start towards you. It's huge. How does it disappear from? It, wow. it has the ability... <coughs> Hold on a second. Stupid sneeze. 
It has the ability to misty step at will. Are you oh, shitting me? <laughs> wow. That's how it appeared directly in, in front of you guys. So, the insect swarm, let's see. Which one is, of you is the insect swarm going to go after? It is going for the elf. Hmm, fireball is a bad idea. I won't be doing that. Checking me on the broom. Yep, start trying to swarm you all on the broom. And apparently misses. Do it! <laughs> oh, the attack hits. His armor class is only 15. Oh! Sorry, I was looking at the 18. That's the passive perception. So, yeah, a bunch of, f of stinging insects start swarming you and st stinging her hard. <clears throat> Alright, is it, is it Dovit's turn now? or? Yeah, it's not Dovit's turn. Dovid's Dovid's going to rage. He's going to uh, initiate rage. He has ancestral protectors, um, and he's going to attack the insect swarm with his with a mace. Alright, that misses. Uh, that second one hits. And you managed to swat out a few of the, the wasps. Anything else? Of it. Hello? Sorry, I was muted. Um, so, well, since I hit the insect swarms uh, uh, with ancestral protectors when I went into rage, uh, the spirit warriors came out that they will be hindered on their next turn, correct? Is that what they do? Can you, can you put out the text, please? And what about rage damage? Uh, how do I calculate that? Oh, that's just two points. I was just making sure that you st they still got took damage from that. You'll have to tell me if I did it wrong or not, because I just clicked the attack thing. Y yeah, you yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'm still not used to roll 20. Your rage damage okay, is, so it's I like, think, like, it's a, like a good, like a d6 or something that you roll that extra whenever you're in a rage. It, it's just a two, it's just two points. It's not even a roll. It's just two points. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not like hex or, or anything like that. All or right, so Hunter's been, Mark. So it'd be eight damage instead of six. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's the, uh, the Blink Dog's turn. And the Blink Dog was just attacked, though it missed, by a Denonicus. Okay, so I would assume that Run is on his back by now. Yep. And Run is currently bleeding from being attacked. Yeah, that reminds me. Uh, what was the damage on that again? <sighs> that was a total of 12 damage. Ah. Something is wonky up with my computer.
Now. Okay. So, Blink Dog. Let's get some distance here. Are you able to disengage he's... safely, or what? What are you gonna do? Oh, he's going to blink. All right. He can blink up to forty feet. And then you can also and he can also run up to forty feet. So that will be his action as we run away. All right. Torin. Move up here. <clears throat> and uh, there it is. Well, oh, shit. No, I don't think I hit him. Yeah, I don't even see your attack roll. I just see damage. Yeah, it did it weird for some reason. Ah, there we go. I guess you did hit him. Oh, shit. No. Well, Three damage. <laughs> well, actually, one Woo. damage, because he's a resistant. Cool. One damage. I helped. <laughs> Jasper. Um, I have a range of 120 feet with call lightning. I'm not worried about the bugs. I'm getting the big thing. So I think he do you need, has... Do you, need, do you need to be able to see... Uh, I don't think so. Alright. Hey, to the point you can see under the cloud, a bolt of lightning flashes down. So I have to be able to see it. Yeah, currently this pile prevents you from seeing. You'll have to move to be able to target King of Feathers. A change of plan. Um. At. Well, I don't usually do this, but I'm just going to wax the bug swarm. If I first off two handed because I can't get to the poke it with a stick. I can poke it with a stick. <laughs> Here's my quarter staff. Here it is. All right. What's with the two bits of damage here? One is uh, whenever I hit one-handed, and the ah. second one is whenever I hit two-handed. So yeah. if, you get, if you get the opportunity, if you can actually put the text on there, so because I always get confused whenever I see that without the text for one-handed, two-handed. And are you using one-hand or two-hand at the moment? I said two-handed, so it's right. actually less damage. Yeah, <laughs> one point of damage, sadly. Oh, and you, you would have had to have moved close enough to do that. So I'm putting you there. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Oh, and that would actually put you within extra smacking damage. So we'll be a, one D uh, a, one, a, a D20 to see if you got, uh, you, you know, to see if you, you got, uh, 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 you know, a nat 20. All right. Anything else you can do, Jasper? Unfortunately not. <laughs> All right, Michael. Hmm. Trying to decide whether to 
use Firebolt. Don't know if that hits. Okay, so to, it would hit up to two creatures within five feet. I'm assuming that would probably be also allies. Or would it Jeez. just be... It'd you just can be the bees. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's why it says up to two creatures, so you can target whatever uh, with it. Okay, well I'll use that then and target the bees. Am I... I'm in with I'm within range where I'm at, right? Yeah, you're you're right next to the bees. Okay. Oh wait, uh, yeah. Uh, wait. Does that make it a disadvantage because it's a missile? And mm. you're within five feet of the bees. Range is 120 feet. Yeah, if it's a missile attack, I believe all missile attacks are a disadvantage if you're within five feet of an enemy. Up to two creatures within five feet. Uh, save effect half damage. I don't see anything. I'll say. Oh, so it's not. It's not targeting. I see. It's. A, it's a area. Because it said save effect. <coughs> I think that's, that's what I'm trying to figure well, out. Let's roll and see. Okay. Yeah, that's just an attack. Okay. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, that's run. Sorry. Yeah, that's run. It's like going, I don't remember Firebolt having. There we go. I'll just use it. Yeah, it's a ranged spell attack, so that's a disadvantage. That's a 12. I still, I think that still hits. Okay. What are you posting? Oh, oh. no, I clicked on something. And that's a 15, so that actually kills the thing. Yes. You managed to incinerate the insects. Ah. Uh. Stupid uh. bugs. Take that. Now we can focus on the T-Rex. This is so fun. <laughs> Alright, run. Okay. Now that he can see this, uh, this is a large creature, right? This is a huge creature. Oh, a huge creature. Okay, so he mm. knows that uh, his little fun ball won't work on this thing. Correct. He he just ran away from I a... God about that thing. <laughs> another thing. So he's on a con... He, he's got a bit of a quandary. So... Either to use magic or not to use magic. That is the question. But he does have his hand crossbow ready. Loaded with one of his red tip bolts. Beautiful. So... Either this is going to make this thing run after me, or it's going to hurt like a chicken. So what does the red tip bolt do specifically? Uh, the red tip bolt is, I quote, a flare shot that has a five foot radius of fire damage, 2d8. So I need to roll 2d8. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't get sneak attack damage on this. Because you're not hidden. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So that'll be 12, 13, 14. All together. Uh, 
All right. Anything else? Uh, that will be it since I'm riding horseback. <laughs> You're done. Oh, wait. Where is he? Okay, little guy. 95 feet. It's my uh, high speed on the broom. Remember. It should be under item description. It doesn't show an item description, it just has it in his stuff, but he can't click on it and do that. Whenever you click on it, all it does is let you change. Uh, Thirty. Uh, th okay, it has a flying speed of fifty feet. You can carry up to four hundred pounds, but it, its flying speed becomes thirty while carrying over two hundred pounds. So how much? How much is your character plus your character's possessions weigh? His equipment's forty-two, and which would you say he? Is it his elf? He's probably like 180, 190 something. Which so means. Probably around over 200 pounds. Which means it's 30 feet. Uh, it's basically the same as your walking speed. <clears throat> but you can also go up and down. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just uh, take off on the broom and kind of head that way at like a little incline. I get. 30 feet up on him and just as high as I can go without coming in effective range with my longbow. Alright, so how many feet do you wish to go? Okay. Uh, as far as possible. No, no, no. For, are, are you just going 30 feet up or are you going 30 feet over? What's your percentage here? Uh, for now, I'll just go 30 feet up. That's uh, just right. where I am. I need to move your token a second so I can actually reach the uh, the feather to <laughs> the feather token on here. Then put a three on it. All right, you've now used 30, 30, 30 points of movement. Uh, what do you wish to do now? Uh, and he's how how far away? Is that how rubble? How tall is that? So a hundred feet away, the rubble's probably about twenty feet. A uh, pile of rubble, just barely gooping over the edge, and uh, then of course he's probably be considered another ten feet down from this position. Okay, but I would have a shot. Yeah, it's one hundred and ten. Basically, it's one hundred and ten feet away. Okay, I'll uh, just take a pot shot with the longbow then. You clicked it, but it's taken a second. All Click right. it again, it's I have rolled twice. That's a miss. Oh. Uh, give me a 1d2. Uh, just roll a d4 and say... <laughs> Evens or odds? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Flip a coin. Alright. Uh, give me another 1d2. Alright. Uh, Jesper, roll me a dexterity saving throw. Of course. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> Alright. Uh, an arrow thuds into the ground right by your feet. <laughs> Just barely missing you. <laughs> look up at him, glare, and go back to what we're doing. I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> you all said my rager was a bad shot. That's so my end of my turn. The Nonicus uh, is my turn. So the Nonicus uh, is hovering out there, but seems to notice that the King of Feathers is there, so it stays in the doorway waiting to see if Easy Prey is going to come close. King of Feathers, meanwhile... Rolling to see if its bees recharge, or wasps rather. Nope, the wasps have, do not recharge. Not this turn. We got a chance. So, let's see here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, King of Feathers uses a combination of Missy Step and Flat Out Running to get to run. And immediately bites. Run's dead. No, he's not. No, but he is currently in the jaws. Vax, no! That thing is. That's only like a hors d'oeuvre for that thing. Mm hmm. Well, those are a blink dug there. Uh, run, uh, mushroom. Hors d'oeuvres. Uh, considering, I think you put your, your HP, uh, I don't know if you put, if you're calculating your HP here on, on roll 20 or if you're just on that. Uh, how much HP do you have left? Uh, I'm about to figure out. Let's see, that was 37 damage, so yep. that puts me at 21. Yep, and you're now grappled. You're in this thing's mouth. You even pulled off your blink, Doug. Dove it. Okay, let me see here. Um, uh, would I be able to move my 40 move speed and throw a javelin and be able to throw a javelin to attempt to keep my rage? Sure. Like, run and angrily throw a javelin at nothing. Just make sure you still give me the roll, because I want to see uh, what happens. Uh, so how do I calculate, uh, do, like, the distance thing? There's a little uh, circle with, with, with the, the measuring tool on it. It's underneath the... the the the, the, the spyglass symbol. One second. I'm trying to. Oh my lord. This is not cooperating with me. I'm using touchpad. Ah. Yeah, I don't know how to help you there. I'm sorry. And let's see here. Of course, it snapped away my character sheet. All right. The satisfying thud of your javelin to the ground. 30 feet away from you. Anything else, David? Uh, I'm going to equip my halberd in anticipation of a potential blink. And that will be my turn. Okay. Uh, what, the, what, what, what does the blink dog do now that the gnome has been lifted off its back? Hmm. I would probably venture to say that it will blink away. Sounds like a plan.
Anything else? Um, I'd probably say it'll try to hide too. All right, roll stealth. Uh, Blink Dog does not really have a stealth, so we'll So, do... dexterity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not really succeeding. Yeah. Torin. Alright. Uh, I'm using my movement and dash so I can move as far as I can. Oh, that's the wrong thing. This is wrong. I can get up to there. And uh, since I dash, that's going to be it for me. All right. Jasper. I'm going to move my 30 feet. Wood. Also remember that you can, you know, take, you know, use a movement for your action if you can't hit something for during your action phase. Move another 30 yeah. feet. Um, I might have to do that because... Nothing I have is going to reach this thing. It's the only reason I dash, so now I have line of sight could be in range. Yeah. Um. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Um. Hunter Woodland Beings. Oh, that's gonna be eight pixies. <laughs> Oh boy. Pixies. If they get hit, I don't have to keep track of their hit points because they have one. Yeah, oh, I know. They'll, they'll just die. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Cannon fodder. <laughs> oh, there's a plan to this. I'm just hoping that I'll be able to do it before Run dies. I have a feeling I've, I've seen some I know your plan. I've seen some amazing plans on, on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you know my plan. This is a plan I've mentioned before. <laughs> yeah, I've seen I've, I've seen certain plans play out. Though if it's a different plan that I'm, that, that, that I've heard like the one mentioned before, it may not necessarily work with this enemy. They get their own initiative. Don't go all, on my turn. All eight of them? You can probably just share the initiative for them, but it says that uh, roll initiative for the summoned creatures as a group. All right. Which have their own turns. All right. It should now be under your control. You can roll initiative for it, and then I will conjure eight more that will be the pixie. What is their Five. Woohoo. Oh, dude. Second, I'm trying to get the thing. Uh... Fast dice roll off. Yes. And. Uh, why didn't you just use the sheet? Interesting. Uh. Oh, wait, yeah, they are where, you, yeah, you added that, didn't you? Yep, okay. Yeah, I did. <laughs> that way I don't have to control it. All right, it'll go in there, and... I didn't mean to add that. Open the sheet, and it... Yeah, hold on. Token. I need to... T I'm going to put this one over here in the corner to be the initiative counter, because I don't want to have to keep track of which one has the, the initiative of the eight that I'm, I need to pull out here. Good. Four, six, eight. There you go. Anything else? Um, I think that's all I can do for right now, so... Okay. Michael. All right. I forgot about the Iron Gar Guardian. Um... So... 
can how did that work exactly can i activate it now or is it too late oh uh, sure or should i move i think i'll move and then because i can move and then do an action right yes okay then i will so how do i do that click on my character and then It. Nope, that's not it. Which, which, uh, wherever you click on your character's icon, then what do you click from there? Or just drag it? What do you mean? To move, so you know how far to move. Uh, there's a little thing underneath the uh the the, the scope thing that can you can measure distances with. Yeah, my, my I actually have a lot more things on on mine than than players do, so I don't know how to na I don't know how to help players navigate this. I'm sorry. That didn't do it. It's all good. Trial and error, figuring it all out. <laughs> nope, that's not what. No, not that. Nope. No, it's not on the token. It's on the side of the screen. You see where the oh, cursor I'm... button is? Look oh, down. Look there. down. You'll see it there. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Nope, that's not it. Nope, nope, that's not what I want. The, 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 the circle symbol with the little thing coming out of it, directly underneath of the, uh, the, 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 the uh, underneath the spyglass symbol, not spyglass symbol, uh, uh, oh, magnified that. glass symbol, there we go. Snap to center, snap to corner... I guess snap to center. Yeah, there we go. So 30, I can only go 30 feet at a time, right? Or uh, Yeah, and you can d double that if you if you use your action to dash. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just going to go 30 feet. So it would be here. So then, whoops, nope, now I need the cursor. There we go. I'll get the, wait, dang it, I didn't catch which square it was now. I was right there, right? Or was I further back? You were like one piece back. So I was right there. Okay. So it's a, it's a learning curve. Good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, so it's that square. Right there. So right here, right? Here. Where the mom oh, pinging? There. Ah, there we go. Thank you. That should be within... Let me see. That within range. Ooh. I could pry a... an attack. But I think I'm actually going to just use my action and... Bring in the steel defender. So, to do that, do I just drag and drop? Right. Correct. Next to me? So, like that. Yes. Perfect. And then I need to roll initiative for them. Uh, I believe so. Like that. Is that right? Yes. Perfect. Okay, and I get that that ends my turn then, right? Correct. 
All right. I'll get the uh, hang of this. <laughs> yeah. So run. Uh. You are currently restrained. Uh, taken in by a grapple. DC 17. Strength to escape. The strength or dexterity? Well, actually, it could be either, I suppose. Because okay. it says 17. <laughs> nope. out, yeah, you're still trapped. Right. Kim's already so... making a new character. <laughs> no, he, he already he... made a new character. Yeah, he's making a new character, character right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. He already made that new character. He is, he knew something uh. like this might happen. <laughs> <laughs> the moment that I heard about the big T Rex, the moment that I figured that we might actually end up against And that, you uh, wandered straight into its lair. <laughs> Just saying. I already had the idea for my next character already thought up. I made him for another campaign I was about to start up. But if I have to, I have him ready to bring into this one. <laughs> so, um, since I can't escape, can I at least do something? Uh, the the roll always comes at the end of a turn. Uh, what were you trying to do? Oh, okay. Uh, well, um, I, I you know, figure a firebolt right to the eyeball. Well, you're inside its mouth, so you, you can't actually target its eyeball. <laughs> but uh, let me double check well, something unrestrained and grapple. Well, well, you know what I mean. I mean, wouldn't any spell that he does trigger the the wild magic and could potentially free him in, is, in a different yep, way? this is true. Yeah. Yeah, so you're restrained and grappled, uh, which means you do technically have an, have an attack. Uh, let's see. Grappled, your speed is zero. Uh, an attack roll against the creature have advantage. The, the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. And you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws, which you've already done, and seen that you couldn't get out of there. So, what, did, what do you wish to do, Run? Okay, so, uh, you said attack rolls have advantage? On advantage. you, have uh, any attack roll against you has advantage. Any attack roll you do against anything else has disadvantage. Okay, I just want to make sure I heard that, which I heard correct. Or, well, I just want to make sure I heard correctly. Okay, so, um, so we are going to just do Firebolt, because, I mean, it's going to light up its mouth. Right. Uh, I guess I should I roll again or? Uh, you also need to roll for for your wild magic. Yes. And you don't get sneak attack damage with this. You oh, might want to well, untoggle I... sweet <laughs> sleep. That's uh, sneak. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways, um, so I was just going to ask, uh, do I need to roll again for the disadvantage, or no? You already have that. That's what the seventeen and twenty-four are. That seventeen is a disadvantage. Uh, you need to roll wild magic table. Oh, is what I was okay. saying. <laughs> oh, I got that part. All right, 34. 34? Mm-hmm. 35. 35, sorry, my brain. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's tiredy time. Oh, come on, it's only 10.30. 
All right. Uh, roll a 1d10. Uh, you just age eight years. Which doesn't do much for a gnome. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a teenager anymore? <laughs> it would have been worse had had he rolled uh, to be get younger. Because he's over, he was already on the edge there. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that ends my turn and my life. Oh no, run! Give me a second, I need to... Uh... Okay, yeah, I think I calculated that close to right. It might have even done more damage. <sighs> Wait, where's... Oh, yeah. Third ends, your, your turn. It's... This. Thirty. Thirty. But where I'm two hundred. Oh yeah, 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 thirty. Oh, where was? Is this it? Move me up there. You say there? Yeah. Yeah. Then, how far does that make me from Dino Man? Uh, uh, Alright, so you're 30 feet up. It's about 20 feet tall. So, 130 feet. Um. To take a chance and use my bonus action to catch snaring strike. It's just being real slow. Looks like it. Okay, you still need to hit something. Yeah. And that would definitely hit something. Let me check something. Yeah. All right. So it takes twelve damages of twelve damage from that. Don't like it stays put. Do you have anything else? That's the end of my turn. All right. So roll a one d six. Right, it takes six additional points of damage. Uh, all right. Okay. It misty steps 30 feet and then runs 50 feet right towards Torin. God. Which means it instantaneously gets out of the incinerating strike. Uh... On the way there, it uh, basically bites down on the, its victim. 
to in order to swallow the gnome. Is it is it free of the vines? It misty stepped out of them. It has misty step it, at will. It said fuck your vine. <laughs> yeah. It took damage, but it misty stepped out of them. And then sm tries to smash uh, Torin with its tail as it basically is gulping down the gnome. Oh, it doesn't have advantage on that, so that was just a 14. Oh, it missed. Probably not used to very shiny things. Dove it. Oh, I forgot to roll to see if it got its bees back. Nope, it does not. Since I threw my javelin at it last turn, am I still enraged since I You're still enraged it? and you don't have a javelin. Or at least you don't have that javelin. But you're still enraged. Okay. So I could go here. I wouldn't be in attack range for a physical attack, but I could try to use my breath weapon on it, correct? Uh, sure. Uh, you depend what type of weapon is it? Acid. Is it a cone or a line? Um... I'm pretty sure acid's in line. Yeah, if it's a line, then the divot should be safe. Let me find it. Um, it's a thirty-foot line. All right. Would that? Would I roll for that in spells or? Uh. You probably have to roll roll the actual damage dice. It says. Um. Let's see, you can use your action to excel destructive energy. Your copper draconic ancestry means the acceleration is a five by thirty line. We ask the damage. So I need to roll a d twenty, correct? Yes. Oh wait. Uh, sorry. Um. Uh, how about you, you display the text real quick? Let me reread that for you. I may not be hearing you properly. All right. Your breath weapon is going to take 2d, uh, 3d6 since we're above 6 level. Yep, so roll a 3d6. And so is it there needs... a... No, uh, it, it just says to roll a constitution saving throw. Okay. So you need to roll a 3d6. Oh, and it failed that. But you rolled badly, too. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, saving throw is actually dexterity. Uh, n oh, you're right. But still, I rolled a nat one. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Jesus. And because of, uh... Well... Will my breath weapon, since it hit, will it trigger the uh, the ancestral protectors? Uh, I don't know how that works. Can you display the text? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it should. Because it says what well, attack. It doesn't say anything about uh, what kind of attack. Okay. Alright, so that means it's the equivalent of goaded. Alright, what do the pixies and... do? Oh, oh, go ahead. What... Yeah, that'll be my turn. Yeah. What do the pixies do? I am going to need eight wisdom saving throws because they are all going to cash polymorph on this fucking thing. <laughs> Can I see the text for polymorph? I uh, don't have the spell, I don't think. It's just the, the pixies have it, but hang on, let me see if I can bring it up. It should be on their sheet. Yeah. If it...
All right, and it needs eight wisdom saving throws. <laughs> all right, they all—they're all using that spell, so they—they they can't use it again. Uh, let's see here. Oh, well, let's hope this works. Play it's wisdom, not constitution or strength. All right, so that's the first uh, legendary resistance. Second, second legendary <laughs> resistance. Oh, great. <laughs> Uh, what's their DC? Twelve. Twelve? Huh. Okay. So that's number three. Uh, that's the third legendary resistance. Number four. Uh, yes! <laughs> what are you trying to turn it into? A bunny! <laughs> okay. It is now a bunny. Oh, God, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so question. What happens to Run? Uh, exactly. He oh, can't he, fit in a bunny. Uh, well, he's not there, because he's dead. He's not there anymore. Well, he's, he's unconscious. He's gets polymorphed along with the uh, T-Rex. That's how that works, unfortunately. Or else you'd be uh, dealing with many, many clouds of uh, hornets. Oh, no, the spell has no effect on a shape changer or creature with zero hit points, so it does not... No, 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 no. No, no, no. The... No, no. Uh, he is car it, because the, the because T Rex is currently carrying inside the the another being inside of it and carrying multiple other beings inside of it. Technically, they all go into a pocket dimension when it's being polymorphed. They're not polymorphed into bunnies too. No, no, they're just polymorphed into a pocket dimension because of the polymorph. That's how that um. works. Okay, it's just saying the spell has no effect on the creature. With you didn't target him. You targeted the thing that ate him. Okay. And as I said, if if we play by that rule, then you'll suddenly be swarmed by norm num uh, in innumerable amounts of hornets or wasps or whatever, because they technically are all inside this thing. Around so. just gone. Run is currently gone. Yeah, there's just a bunny there. Okay. Have I uh, automatically failed any saving throws yet? Uh, technically, you're in a pocket dimension with no time passing, so no. Oh, okay. I haven't even done a savings throw yet, then. Got it. At least you're not dead. But I can't get you back unless I pop the polymorph on this thing. Yep. Or cool. until it takes enough damage to release it from the polymorph, yeah. Hold on one second. Uh, try to find a token for it. Cute little fuzzy bunny <laughs> with a lot of hit points. Uh... Sorry, trying to find a rabbit token is actually more difficult than one would thought would think. No, stop showing me other woodland creatures. I want rabbit. Not fuck, not not does, not birds, not squirrels, not raccoons. Ah, oh, the search engine's crap. My mind just went to South Park there. All right. Well, unfortunately, it uh, I don't know what token to put on there. I'm just going to put a random token on there to indicate that that's where the bunny's standing. Jordan, you know what to do. All right, Pixies are done with their turn. Blink Doug. Uh, I 
I think at this point in time, if Floof is uh, at a loss, not really sure of what to do right now. He just seen his uh, master be eaten. And then this big thing that ate his master just turned into a smaller thing. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say he's just... He's Head just going to turn invisible. You know, just basically hide. Alrighty. Torin. Well, some bitch. What do you want to do, Torin? Trying to think here, because this doesn't necessarily solve the issue. It's only a temporary fix. Last for an hour. We could leave, but then we'd be leaving run behind, too. If I pull it out of the polymorph, then he might end up back in its mouth, so... And even if we knock the bunny to zero hit points, it just goes back to its normal... This thing has advantage against him. He's in its mouth, and he's already unconscious, so he's going to die. No, 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 no. He he got swallowed. He, it's no longer in, it was no he was no longer in its mouth. He was swallowed. Oh well, he's going to yeah. be taking acid damage from its stomach. Correct. Well, right now he's in a pocket dimension. So right as of right well, now, but you guys wouldn't know that though. Dead. Well, a crana check they would know that. So give me your crana checks. If you want to know what happened, if you want in character to know what happened to run. Uh, all right, where's my arcana? Oh, you know, he's just not there. Ooh, that's a high enough arcana check to know what happened, right? Maybe. Nope, nope. Yeah, as far as you could could tell, run is just gone. Ah. Uh, oh wait, uh, Delta. Yeah. Sorry, Delta. You had a high enough check. I just saw the threes and the fours being rolled. Oh, I was like, ah. <laughs> So yeah, I, I, I know what he, yay. At least I can let them know. So yeah, you kind of understand that uh, anything that was inside the uh, the creature when it got, tur got polywarfed is most likely in a pocket dimension. I've just never seen that, like, it's seen, like, whenever something gets polymorphed or it drops a polymorph to something smaller, then it basically throws it up because it can't fit in its body. I haven't seen it get sent to a pocket dimension. Uh, this is, again, DM discretion, so in my in, in my way of thinking, it gets sent into a pocket dimension. That's fine. It's it's done. <laughs> Not really much what you can do about it now. Now, if it had, if run had still been in its mouth when this happened, that would be different. But like I said, he crunched and swallowed swallowed run. So yeah, I figured he would just drop him or throw him up. I didn't think that it would do that, or I probably wouldn't have done it. As I said, like, some other GMs might rule that way, but I don't. I I. I, I go with uh, transfer of matter uh, matter of mass, and again, if I did, you'd be currently surrounded by lots and lots of uh, of insect swarms. That would have been fun. <laughs> lots of fire bolts. <laughs> but uh, so torn. Any any I, idea for trying to do? I think I'm just going to pass on this turn. All right. What does the Steel Defender do? 
Hmm. So, well, that's a good question. Um, I could advance to advance at forty feet. It only has melee attack, I think, if I remember right. Also, it'll just stay right there for now. Jasper. I don't have anything I can really do. Oh, I guess just... Michael? Okay, so... Knowing that... Run is in a pocket dimension now that we have a fuzzy bunny in front of us... The proper question would be, do I attack said bunny, try to get it polymorphed back so maybe we can somehow kill the Rex and get him out of the Rex, or do I, as well, well, beforehand, explain the situation to everybody so then they know, and then we try to come up with, or explain the situation and then try to come up with a plan with everybody so that we can figure out the quickest way to get him back and hopefully save him. At this point, I think he's he's gone. He's unconscious and he's in the same stomach. I think if we polymorph it, that he's going to end up back in his stomach and he's going to die. That's the case, then we should just take this time, this hour that it's polymorphed. Just leave. Because I really don't think this thing's going to stop with just him. Here's a, a, a better question for, for, from the GM. Who, who who happened to have the bag of holding? Run. Mm-hmm. Ah, pocket dimensions well, within pocket dimensions. That's not fun. <laughs> but at least you need to get a bag of Whatever so we far. need to do to complete what our quest, we have to kill this T-Rex then. Yep. Because the items we yeah, need are in you, this you, thing. you need Run's body back at the very least. Yeah, that's why I was like, well, yeah. if, he can, if he can somehow... In either way, die. leaving technically isn't an option because we still have to be here for our next step. So right. I'm looking at this and going, this is something that is, we're going to take a lot of time in planning, I imagine. Uh... To, all the way to the next session. Yeah. Which will be the next time Run has off, not next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> right. Not Christmas weekend, but the weekend after New Year's Alrighty. weekend. Yeah, that should be a good, um, good for New Year's, uh, if you guys are good for New Year's. I do have well, to ask. Hmm. Uh, Grizz, I do have to ask, how come I haven't been rolling death saves, though? Just I get, I uh, you're, you're, you're in a pocket dimension with no time passing. So there's no there's nothing to roll the death saves for because you currently don't you currently don't exist. Okay, I, I or, uh, just want to make you're, sure you're out you're, you're outside normal time, so nothing is affecting you. Right. It's literally in the same round that you would hit zero hit points. You got teleported. Exactly. Yep. Uh, I think Run spends more time in pot in other dimensions than his own. <laughs> so, so Chris, basically if he's having to do death saving throws so as long as he succeeds and we're able to kill the rex in time we could basically bring him back right you would have to do that within i believe uh, two to three turns, because any time he takes damage, he immediately loses a death saving throw. So technically, yeah, he technically he could die within one round because he roll. Let's say he rolls a nat one, and then bam, the acid he's dead because the acid takes care of the rest. 
True. I don't think any of us are high enough level that we would be able to cash like revivify or anything to and get him back. This is this team of annihilation. As long as you're on this world, uh, in this area, there's no way to revivify anyone. Yeah. So, so those are things. That to, be... th th those are things to, to think about. Just like you know, think about in anything, and you can ask me. You can send me questions about certain things, um, and I can have you roll various uh, lore knowledge um, that might be able to assist you with any of this. But we, after that, uh, well, true. Darn it. Yeah, so we're run, runs dead. Like well, pretty much, he's, he's dead. We're, there's no way we're getting him out already. of the lot. <laughs> and I am sorry. Oh, right it's now. just you guys were bunched up on one side of the map. The King of Feathers looked around, saw that Run was over there. Missy step, Missy step. Immediately I, I went had a for feeling you. I should have gone with Run. I just had a feeling I should have said I'll go with you to. And it didn't. It didn't help that I rolled that nat twenty that I was looking for 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 the I King of Feathers to come back home. Oh, so she, she admits it. She admits <laughs> it. She was looking for that nat twenty. Ha ha ha.